I have been recording this video for an hour and they end up being long and complicated and really informative, but you don't need this information right now. So let's stick with what you do need. If you use a PC, and I imagine it's similar on a Chromebook, uh, there's a system for navigating the directories on your computer in order to rearrange and locate specific folders and files. Now, Finder is what the Mac has called it from the beginning. And it's located on your dock on the left-hand side, and it can't be moved. You can't click and drag this. Um, there's a way to work around that, but for right now, just leave it on the left-hand side. If you click on it, it's going to open up a Finder window, but yours is going to look different than mine. What I want you to do is close this window. And you can click the red button, which closes the window, or hit Command-W. Command-W closes the open window in front of you. Now, I'm still in, the, it looks like I'm looking at a browser at the mission, and I am. But up in the upper left-hand corner, I'm still in the finder. If you accidentally clicked and moved yourself. This is my student account. That's why I'm in Safari rather than Chrome. See, the, the active application is always written up here next to, displayed next to the Apple. So I'm going to switch back to the Finder and, oh geez, <laughs> I'm using keyboard shortcuts. So I'm in the browser. If I come down, click once more on this and then hit Command W to close that window. Um, I'm still in the Finder, and I want to come up and go to Finder Preferences. Every single application, well, virtually every application on a Mac, the ones we're going to be using, under the application, the preferences are located. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to click on Preferences, and you know, yours is going to open up right here. And eventually, the district has these things locked down. I'm trying to get them uh, to give us freedom here because I want to work in Finder Windows rather on the desktop for reasons I'll explain. But the new Finder window, I think yours says Recents. I want you to change this. Now in this list is going to be the users on your computer and what I want you to pick is your ID number. Okay, so select your ID number so it's your home directory. That's what we want here. Do not click this. Oh, cool. Folders open in tabs because we're going to want side-by-side -side windows in order to do things. And this makes it really difficult. So ignore this. Have this setting under general set to your ID number and then go to the sidebar and turn everything on. Make sure you don't have a little um, dash. Click until you have check marks on everything. And yeah, we could fine tune this, but that gets too complicated. Do you got that? So all of this is on, and in general, you have this new finder window opens up in your home directory. Your ID number will be here. And you just close this window. Now, Command N, Command N. Now, if you didn't get a new Finder window, but instead you got a new browser window, you must have accidentally clicked on the browser. So get back to the Finder in every way, any way you want and hit Command N and notice, well, yours is going to open up like this probably with different things displayed. Well, something similar to this displayed. You're not going to have Dropbox. But it's going to have your ID number over here in the sidebar. And good, but we don't want to look at this as icons. We want to view it right here. You can view as columns. And yeah, 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 the gallery, you're going to go, ooh, ooh. But columns is going to be the most effective general use. I switch to list when I want to organize things by file type or date modified, and it works really great. 
But for right now, I want you to be in columns. And then hit Command W, and then hit Command N, and your new Finder window should open up in your home directory in columns. Command W, close the window, Command N, open up a new Finder window. And what size is this? I mean, do you like it like it is? You could say, oh, I want to get it really small. Well, where's your sidebar? It's gone. And if you keep this small, when you start clicking on things to go through, you know, your documents, you, you can't see what you're doing. So you're going to want some room. And then if I close this, notice when I open it again, how come that happened? Let's do that. Command W, Command N, there we go. Um, it opens up, oh, because I navigated through. It's based on this window where we didn't have other things going on. So you want to just have a Finder window that opens up in column view. And by the way, Command 1, 2, 3 lets you cycle through these views. And... Um, you know, in addition to navigating up here or through these icons, once you get used to the keyboard shortcuts, it, everything's quicker. But for right now, I want you to practice. Command W, Command N. Scott, you go, this is dumb. Yeah, well, you're going to learn that Command W closes a window. You're going to learn that Command N opens up a new window. If you're in a Finder, a new Finder window. If you're in a browser, you know, like in Chrome, it opens up a new Chrome window. Uh, but I don't want a window, I want a tab. That's Command T. You guys, I know you're used to working one way. <laughs> you know, before you ran, you learned to walk. We're going to learn to run. For right now, that's the fundamentals. And I know some of you are thinking, well, how's Scotch Go going to know I even did this? I'm going to walk up, and if I think you're not listening, I'm going to say, open up a new Finder window. And you're going to look at me and go, what? Because, you know, you're over here in Chrome. And I'm going to say, open up a new Finder window. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, this is revealing. So I want you to be aware of the Finder. I want you to know it's located at the left-hand side of the dock. I eventually am going to want you learn to learn how to navigate through these forward and backward, be able to find what you're looking for, open up a new window, and then find things. That's what the Finder's all about. Okay, this was still long, but it didn't bird walk too far. These are all skills you need to be aware of and things we're going to practice week after week after week until it becomes second nature to you. And I know some of you are saying, what's all this stuff over here? We'll talk about it.